Hold on, fam. How y'all doing? Oh my goodness, I finally made it to destination. Let me tell y'all. Um, damn, it took me so much to get here. It was just one of them days. Thing after thing after thing after thing happened. Because for those who don't know, I told y'all I'd be gone for a week. At least. Maybe longer. That I'm leaving for a week that I'm coming to do some rituals. Connect with nature spirit. Um, spend some time with source. Get some deep grounding in. So I'm out at Kadaka Habad, a safe haven. Um, our, our land, you know, the one we was given 30 acres of. I'm um, caregivers of. But you know what? I said I was going to tell you guys um, what happened at the Zound Healing event. Man, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was, um, one, I couldn't record because I was doing the session. So there was no way that I could record. Um, and everybody that was there, including the facilitator, was indulging in the sound healing. But in the end, she did get some footage. But it was so personal. People were crying and um, it was a lot going on in that. We'll talk more when I go live, though. But there was a lot of emotions. People was crying and wailing. My only thing was, I wish it was more, um, I want to heal as many people as I can, but I wish it was more my people involving themselves. It was me, the facilitator, and one other person that was, um, that was a melanated, melanated person. So, but anyway, we'll talk more about that when I go live. Um, so, but anyway, I'm at Kadaka Haban. I'm in the RV. Can I turn this thing around? Yeah, sure, cool. Um, so let me show y'all. I just got here last night, so I have to clean up. This is the bathroom. It's a toilet, full shower, um, a working shower, but I won't use the shower in here. I'll use the solar shower outside. Um, so I got the cat, one of the cats with me. So that's just cat stuff. Um, this is the bed. Not the special. I'm just, I know it's a mess, so I'm, that's the point. I'm, it's time for me to clean up. I came in late last night and um, did a little bit, but I'm just tired. Had the baby. Say hi. They had the baby. This is um, D Doc. D Doc means tiger. Um, he's so pretty. Like, he's pretty. And I look at him on camera, he's actually prettier in person than the camera show. Like, that design on his face with his little. It got a little orange on it right at the tip of his nose. Show it a little bit, but he's really pretty in person. Anyway, so it's just stuff I got to put up. It's my clothes and stuff. Food. I bought mostly soup because I didn't want to make soup. I don't normally buy canned soup, but I didn't want to be focused on cooking too much right now. I have a lot of spiritual work that I want to do. So I got lots of soup. And it's just coconut water. Uh, some sardines, lots of sunflower seeds, some sugar-free candies, um, a cheap bag of chips, jalapeno chips, what is this, oh, um, walnuts and coconut stuff for my smoothies, I got some stuff in the freezer, um, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, ouch cat, ouch and um, that's for my smoothies. And I got some juices in there that I made. Like a V12. Really powerful juices. I need to take one out right now. Um, salad. I got lots of salad. Like one of these will last me two days. Some potatoes, mushrooms. Um, actually, this roll is my life waters that I keep with me in case... Any ritual I do, I can offer life waters. Um, so I got some bananas to eat. And apple smoothies, plums and apples and other apples. I really like these little apples. I'll have one now. Um, just some stuff. 
couple beers. I didn't bring many beers with me this time too. Five beers for the for seven days. I don't really really want beer, but it was left in a box at the house, so I brought it. Um. Uh oh, sorry, boo double. Look. Well, this stuff appears been here already for a long time. I have to go in and arrange stuff now. This is from last year sometime. I don't even, I don't know what half of that. Um, I got to come up here and arrange this. This is all dog food stuff for the puppies. And everything a mess. Next time you see it, it'll be on this film too. It'll be nice and neat. This is all my um, instruments that I come to practice with rain stick and bamboo drum. It's drop well, I'll show you later. Some flutes, some tuning forks, singing bowls, um, drums. I got a couple drums with me. So that's it. That's the front, this is the cab of the RV. I just got the screen cover on to keep the um keep it keep it not so hot in here. It's Arizona, but it's a cool 70 today anyway. That's a solar panel right there. I'll show you where it goes to. You find some shoes. Oh yeah, so that's the puppy's bed. It's where they sleep. And mostly it's just storage stuff under there. Dog food. Tools. Blenders. Dog food, cat litter stuff I store under here. Not much. Um, Y'all want to go outside? Come on. Let's go. I got the cat on the leash. I walked him yesterday. Let me see what he do today. It's windy. He's never been outside before. He's normally at the house. So anyway. Um, yeah, that's the RV. I gotta do some straightening up out here. It's beautiful. I just wanted to be a little neater. Just gonna consolidate the rocks and I'll clean up inside and outside today. You know, I'm making a, a thingy over here. I'm making a, um, a building, underground building, so I could do sound healing. And I'm not gonna start on it this trip, but the next trip out I will. Um, but today I'm, I'm gonna take this dome piece off and put it over here, and I'll put my tent underneath of that. So I'll be sure it doesn't blow away. And but if I could. I have a cover for this. If I brought the cover for this here, it's not at the house, then I'm going to use this itself as a tent. I'm going to put tarp down. I hate tarp because I want to be grounded when I'm playing the music. That's what the tent for. So, by the way, the tent is for, I want to um, maybe put my instruments out, do some meditations. It's just some space that's not in the RV. So, I'm going to use it as an extra room. So, but I think I have some wool blankets with me from the winter. So I think I'm gonna just take a bunch of wool blankets and put it on the ground underneath of this and put the um, cover on this if I have it with me. If not, I'll just put the tent up and underneath of it. So, yeah, it's a little windy today. It's 70 something degrees. It was gonna be 70. It's nice out now. And it's windy and cloudy because it's raining tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm out here dolo. Um, so this is it. Anybody from Arizona want to join me for a day or so for some prayer and connection with the earth? Come on up. Can't stay the whole time with me. I need some alone time, but I'll share a couple days. Hit me in the inbox with, with my um, email. Hey, that Buna. Hey, that Buna. They ready for me to go for a walk. I can't go yet. I have to clean up first and get dressed. Let me clean up. They like for us to do our walk. And that's that's something else I miss out here. Um, my exercise. I like to come out here, get good walk 
and get on a trampoline, to get some exercise in. Okay, so let me turn this around. Yeah, so that's that. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you with that solar panel. Let's see. That solar panel is behind me on the window, and it charges the car battery. It doesn't charge it. It just trickle light into it. It keeps it um. It doesn't, it doesn't charge. It keeps it, you know, uh, maintained where it's at, so it doesn't deplete. Well, I'm out here for boondocking. I don't have no electrical source or nothing. Um, then when we show you how this thing is, for those who don't know, how I get electricity and all that, let me know and I'll do a video on that. Right now I'm gonna go. I'm a. I am i got to get cleaning up and um, do the magic of television. I'll be right back. So yeah, I finally finished cleaning up. It literally took me all day. I was just kind of dragging. I took a nap, all kind of stuff. One of the things I wanted to do while I was out here was um, get my rest up. So I mean, I could show y'all around again, but you know, I'm about to go out and take the puppies. For that evening walk, it's a little chilly, a little bit. So, um, yeah, y'all can go with me. We can have a little talk, but I'll give you, um, it's not much different in here, I don't think. No, just everything is what it is, mostly cat stuff. I don't think I showed y'all back here though. This is a um, bathroom sink area. Just uh, my, my cosmetics and vitamins and stuff. Um, this is the bed area. Again. It looked much the same except for the stuff that I had over here. I put all that stuff away. But, um,. I like a bed that's made up, but I don't like to do it. And nobody's here to do it for me. So this is how it'll look for the next week or two. This, this is my makeup. That's the most I'm gonna do. So yeah, pretty much put everything up. I got these, oh shit. Did that cat just call a Oh no. I got these essential oil blends up here. I'm about to make a blend for the dog, Paul. So. Pretty much put all my food up. Stove. I don't know if I showed y'all this earlier. Toaster oven here. Full stove. Of course, refrigerator and freezer. Bunch of cabinets. Um, dog area. Up here is just storage now. And all on this side is um, sound or sound healing stuff. And the rest is just storage. Uh oh. Hold on. So they're waiting patiently. They've been waiting for this all day. We knew we normally go uh, twice a day, but I was busy today. So tomorrow I have to put up my. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Let me get excited. When they see my walking stick, they know it's time. Um, tomorrow. Okay, wait a minute. I have to clean up outside. And we'll be cleaning up out here and figure the tent situation out. So I know it's going to be raining tomorrow, but I still want the tent up. So it'll be nice to sit out here in the rain. Um, and I think it's still, regardless, whatever I'm going to use, I'll do, I'm definitely going to use that right there. Because I, I can use it. The wind can't blow it over. So it'll be just that or a tent under that. Okay, let's go. I don't know why they do this. They gotta hit my legs like three times before we start walking up the road. That was one. Let's see if they come back for some more. Here she comes. Okay, dude, come on, let's go. That was two. Come on, let's go. 
do. Tila, come on. And, oh, that was a half one. Come, she thought about it, changed her mind. Okay, so that's my camper van. Yeah, anybody want to come out? I'm open for the weekend coming up. The last weekend in March, beginning of April. Um, maybe two days, Saturday and Sunday. Friday and Saturday. I'll come out for two days. That's the well over there. I'm going to paint that. I had a big old hole in the ground here. I'm going to make it in partly in the ground greenhouse here. Because it's going to be the garden area over there. But anyway, we could do all that later. You know, I looked out the window a second ago and I was pissed off. Because it was somebody like right there on the land riding a horse. I have no idea who that was. It's just on my land riding a horse. But the good thing is this will be fenced in soon. This whole 30 acres will be fenced in soon. This year we won't have that problem anymore. So Look how beautiful it is. I don't know if y'all can really see what I see. Uh, trying to get some air go. Really, the tribe could come live with me. We'll live in RVs, and well, some surprises, some surprises coming this year. Some sandbag houses will be here this year. Um, maybe a log cabin to be on here this year. It's the main building, the communal building. Where we all cook at and stuff. So anyway, why am I out here? I do this a lot, especially once it gets warm. Sometimes even in the cold, um, I commune. I come out to this red clay. You know, it's a wonderful place, this place to ground in. Cause this red clay is like silk. It's uh, really nice. The problem I have with people and they animals on my land is shit. I don't do poo. I have a poo phobia. I don't care what kind of poo grows. I don't want it on my land. No thank you. I'll use compost. And then I want your horse poop on my land. I want to walk into that. So yeah. It's about communing. Taking that time away. You know, I asked for this. I'm not lucky or anything that I have all this or access to it. I asked for this. this is what I wanted in my life. This is what I desired. Like you. What you have in your life and around you, that's what you desire. You can always change it. I'm not giving you that much of a view. I'm gonna... See that? They have campers over there but wait a minute I want to make sure that's not on my property but that'll definitely be fenced up soon and we want to make sure they're in the right place with that that's a new camp I'm looking at Just bear with me. Oh, 
wait, wait. Oh yeah, okay, so the fence line, I don't know if you can see that, you can't see it from here, but the fence line is right on the other side of the fence line. Um, so I'm gonna get this whole line fenced in down here, all the way around. Come on, team, let's go. No, no, we're not going that way. Come on. Ah, ah, do. Should it just be, should this path? There's no reason for it to be a path here because there's no reason for them to ride onto my property when I'm not here. But that's about to be taken care of. Um, so yeah, it's about communing with yourself. Talking to yourself a little bit. Um, definitely communing with nature. And while I'm out here, I'm actually doing the... Um, Connecting with the uh, nature spirits ritual. I have to write it up. Once I do, I'll make sure I give it to you guys if you guys want to do it. I suggest you do it. So, it's, it's drizzling. Someone's supposed to rain today. I feel drizzle on my face. That's what this is about. Connecting in community. And it's quiet. What I hear is a couple dogs every now and again dogs over there but that's because I'm close to my to that, that my, my fence line because I'm camped let me see let me see if I can see that in here I'm camped down there but that's close that's all the way at the end of the fence line because the property goes 20 20 acres across here on the top half on the bottom half 10 acres across top 20 I'm trying to get that other 10 to make that 40 acres and then I'll go buy me a mule so I went and got my own 40 acres and mule fuck them um yeah but this silence Good place to raise children. It's a good place to get married, be with the ones you love. We can always go to the city, you know. We can always go to the noise, but it's just where you want to go to come home, call home. So you want to land. But these, this property here, the reason it's so big, I didn't see it for just myself. I saw it for the tribe. I have another five acres for just myself. Um, then if ever I need to dip uh, five acres and then I got another, what is it? Um, one acre with the house on it. So, there'll be some building here soon. But look at this serenity. We all need it. More than anything, I need a damn exercise. I need to be walking this place. Come on, Tila. Let's go. Give me a walk group going on. So, yeah, I'm just going to show y'all what I'm doing today. Not the real to talk about. Come on. Let's go this way. So, do this a couple times today. When I, when I, what I'm plans, what I'm going to do is get the, get the land paved all along the fence line. So that could be a walking, um, and or jogging area for the tribe. So it'd be a track, you know. I don't want to do asphalt, but I'll get them to, the way they do gravel. Make a path out of gravel and with that. We'll have a place to exercise. Especially I like to walk. So and we're gonna definitely have an exercise dome though. Where we have um we 
you can do any kind of exercise in there. I forget what it's called when they swing it from those. See, they made a path through here. I don't have my, I got on no, um, flip flops. I don't, I don't know, walk there today. I definitely want to see what that's about in the AM though. While he's driving to my lane. That's all of this is about to be fenced. Come on, y'all. Um, so we'll have an exercise dome. You do whatever it is that cloth they hang us. I forget what that's called. So it looked like some kind of seemed like some kind of gymnastic or something. But that yoga, um tai chi, qigong, that is qigong. I'm interested in qigong. Um yeah. So y'all in my world let me know what more you want to see in the comments um this this would normally be on come on stop it this would normally be on um zen earth domes channel but because what i'm doing right now is a spiritual journey it's why it's on this channel but um if y'all want to see anything else about out here let me know and i'll put it on zen earth domes channel Zen Earth Domes with an S. And I'll put it over there and I'll let y'all know over here that it's over there when it's out. So just let me know. But it's really drizzling. Come on, y'all need some more walk? Alright, let's go this way. Come on. Um Yeah, so I just wanted to share my life a little bit. I was exactly down here a year ago. It's funny. A year ago, here, is when I met Ski Sloa online. When we linked up, the net changed everything. Okay, y'all, I'm out of here. Um, yeah. So I'll see y'all soon. Let me get focused with them. So I can walk a little faster after watch where I walk in these flip-flops. I don't know why my camera look kind of over there or something. But anyway, so I'm out and I'll see y'all soon.